everyone, my name is Katie Wolf and welcome back to Hello Charlotte episode 3. Some weird stuff, I mean, when is it not weird, but some weird stuff has seriously been happening. We, so we went to Ami's house and then found her freaking dead brother. She said, she, it's, you know, she came upon me like that. It's always been like that, but I don't know if I want to 100% believe her, but I feel like all of that right now is almost even like kind of irrelevant because we have been like dropped off into like this bizarre world and you know when i ended the last video i went to you know save obviously and i saw that her name is charles and i i think that was the name of umbrella man i mean if, if i am remembering correctly i mean even their eye color looks kind of like it so if this really truly is the real world that means that whole you know, everything that has happened is just like freaking fiction that they've been writing. Is their manga, basically. Nothing has been real. Which, I don't know. I don't know what's more devastating. You know, it's just... It's just... Weird. Weird, weird, weird. And then we freaking find out that... Old photo of me and my pet, he died, he died a while ago. It's all her fault. Eiler? Yeah, we find that Eiler is like supposedly her dead sister or something like that. Maybe a dead sister that was like never born. Or something. A small kitchen. This house is very, mon you know, kind of weird and mundane. Father's room. He won't be coming back. Uh huh. A bathroom. Mother's room. Uh. Okay. They have separated rooms. Okay, good, mother. You're not here. A stack of romance novels with obnoxious titles inside. Clothes inside are neatly folded. Looks like mom hasn't touched these for a while. So she hasn't been home either? My drawings from art school hang on the wall. Sometimes they fall off and I take them back on. It's dark outside. Mom says these drawings lift up her mood, so I ended up not throwing them away. Wait, is there someone in bed? Oh, Mom's in bed. Hello, Mom. Slept well? Yeah. I always sleep well. Why don't we have a fancy dinner tomorrow? I can make your favorite dish. I saved up some money from freelance work, <laughs> my fanfic, so you don't have to worry about the cost of the ingredients. I'm sorry, I don't feel like getting out. It's okay. I'll bring it to your room and we'll eat together, okay? Alright. Don't be too hard on yourself, I know you're trying your best. Right, mother. You're such a good girl. She's looking right at me, but all she sees is Scarlet Eiler. The child that never was. Uh, say what, bro? So it seems like mom has some kind of sickness. There are needle marks on my hand. They're like vampire bites or some crap. Awake already? Uh, what? Why are you pulling me back into this world? Charles, you're here. Hi there. Feeling comfortable? As if I think I got murdered. I was assaulted, drugged, and got stained in this ugly blue. Well, that's unfortunate. Someone linked with me against my will. And the symptoms I'm experiencing are definitely from drug overdose. I can barely move. I see. You were out of it when I found you, so I made sure to watch over you. What a creep. This hurts my feelings. It wasn't you who did it, right, Mr. C? Me? Gods, no, never. Believe me, the last thing I want is to get inside your head. Yeah, trust me, it's a freaking yeah, disaster in there. Good. Help me get up, will you? I don't feel my limbs? Sure, sure. Anything for you, Miss Wilshire. Hey, I, I'm you now. Okay, so like... I'll manage from here on. Not even a thank you. Go to hell. Well then, good night. Okay, so like... I think mom is... Okay, so I'm still leaning towards that the other thing was the real world. So... Mom is like sick. And probably that's why dad doesn't come home? I don't know. Welcome home, Miss Boshire. This doesn't feel like home anymore, dude. Oh, Aiden, you're back. Carry me to bed? Why does he look like that? <laughs> Anything you wish. Doesn't this look like the principal? Yay, Princess Carrie. Thank god we brainwashed him. Here we are, you demonic being. Thank you. Oh, by the way. The tenants have made you a hot drink. Did they poison it? Ooh, bring it to me. I can use some tea right now. 
Aiden leaves the room and returns with a small tray. Here you go, my lady. Thanks. Good night, Aiden. Sleep well, Miss Welshire. I drink the tea and then I die. Moments later, my vision starts to blur. This is like so freaking terrifying. My insides ache terribly, it hurts. Guys, stop killing me! Or at least stop trying to kill me. Chapter 2 and all together friends forever. Miss Wilshire, answer me truthfully. Do you think free will exists? What kind of question is that? If you're simply curious of my opinion, just get to the point. So straightforward, aren't you? Very well. Let me start from afar. This world is swarming with parasites. Tiny. Invisible. Tenacious. Once they outwit, outwit your immune system, they eat you from the inside. Use you as an incubator for its offspring. Control your mind and alter your personality. What if I said that everyone in the house hosted a parasite in their heads? What are you getting at? A parasite's goal is reproduction, right? Our parasite is no different. However, the house inhabitants are only its intermediate hosts. Its final goal is to infect the people from the outside. The audience itself breaking the fourth wall, huh? That's why, using all of us, it creates a story. An impactful story that would carry over into the world behind the screen. You're very right. But not all stories leave a lasting impression. So they're created over and over, again, and again, and again. Until there's a whole franchise. You are very right, dude. You have pulled me in. Until there's a combination of events and relationships that work, that works. Until there's a story that will succeed in infecting the minds of the audience who will in turn create something of their own. Production for the sake of reproduction. Creation for the sake of recreation. Miss Wilshire, if I told you this was the reality of our existence, what would you do? Uh, okay, who the hell was talking to me? The marks on my hand are gone. It's a new body. Uh, see? I tell you, man, she dies every freaking time, and then she gets recreated with, you know, freaking new personality and everything. Success! Of course the tea was poison. I knew it. Yeah, sure, why'd you drink it then? But there's no way- but there's no way I recover this fast if I didn't die. I should go wash my face. So you're just totally okay with being freaking murdered? Okay. You do you, girl. This is a freaking TV room. I can never remember where anything is. Bathroom. Dude, you killed me earlier. Bennett? Are you dead? Jesus Christ, dude. Go away, human maggot. What a meanie. Oh, oh. Don't tell me you're going to withdrawal syndrome. From what? Did you take Link, dude? Leave me alone. Don't you see how- Ugh. So disgusting. Were you supposed to be a comic relief character? Jeez. Was he? He's always been very murderous, that's for sure. Where did that go? Oh, I know. It's all because of the regular soap intakes, isn't it? The freaking soap, man. I told you they're bad for you. Anyone can be a manatic. Man. <laughs> Why can't I say that word? Manically happy forever when they're brain dead, right? Maniacally, that's what it is. Wilshire. Last warning before I murder you. Yeah, right. You hate me. But it doesn't really matter. You can't kill me anyway, why, because you're the main character? No, but I can torture you and tear off your limbs. One by one. <laughs> oh no. Bennett is so scary. I don't like this version of any of these characters. Are those the kinds of jobs you do for Dr. Huxley? Yet he failed to raise a mindless killing machine out of you. Bitch, you're about to get murdered, like, again. Bennett is in front of me in a flush. Jesus Christ, bro. With a loud dud, my head gets slammed against the wall. Well, I'm dead. I slide down the bathroom wall, leaving a trail of blood. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> you really have no self-control when you're sober. This much shouldn't kill you. See? I was right. You're softer than you want to appear to be. Wilsh- 
Fetus form becomes blurry and I black out. Die twice in a day. Okay, so gross. When I wake up, the room is dark. You're not dead. My head aches and my hands are sticky from red blood. And freaking Bennett just left me here like this. Thanks a lot. I'm disgusting. There's someone else in the room. Charles? Bingo. Just look at look at the freaking sprite on the screen. It's just like bloody thing lying on the freaking ground there. What are you doing here? Looking after you. Then treat my wounds, asshat. I don't think he's real. That's why he never does anything. He just talks to you, but no one else sees him. No can do. You're dirty and I'm squeamish. God, you're so useless. You could get Mr. Honecker to treat you. He won't. I replaced his favorite cereal with dried blood worms the other day. He did what? Forget it. <laughs> oh, no, no. So, many, so many weird voices. He can never catch a break, huh? More importantly, how long do you plan to provoke the tenants for attention until they actually kill you? I'm hoping they kill me because this is a living nightmare. Uh, forever probably? Or however long my lifespan lasts. How old am I actually? Well, last time I heard, I think you were 15 or 13? I don't know. Actually, I'm actually 5? Actually 3. Okay, that's even worse. Well, there you go. Miss Welshire. I'm sorry for lecturing you, but... You spent too many spare vessels. Your lifespan might be greatly shortened if... Oh, jeez, what the freaking hell? Ah, uh, she killed herself with a toothbrush. How? Oh my god, what the freaking hell? There's another one. <laughs> Charles, look who got, who's got a new body. Damn it, Charlotte. There's only so many, you know. I'm whiter than ever before. What was I talking about? Alright, I'm gonna be late to school. What the freaking hell even? Should I actually go visit anyone? Should I just go to school? Oh, uh, what the freaking hell is going on here? It, 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 what, what? Is this a party for... Oh, what are we celebrating? Uh... Oh, oh, is your <laughs> Freaking bet it, you killed me! Zip it! It's a surprise party, a surprise party. Ah. <laughs> I love surprises. Mind pouring me a drink? What, without poison this time? Sh sure Oh, you went so far as to frame my photo with black ribbons. <laughs> my favorite color is white, you know. Uh-huh, yeah, right. Quick, somebody hide that. <laughs> no, no, keep it. Slurp, ugh. Truly delicious. What the hell you just drink? Well then, I'll be off. Keep on partying. Psst. Ben, didn't you tell us she's dead for real? They hate her so much, that's so sad. Maybe I just wanted to have a party? Why did I choose to believe him in the first place? So, uh... Whose corpse is lying in the coffin? Please don't tell me you stole that from Uncle's morgue. I... I just... I don't even know, man. Guys. Uh, enjoy your drinks, I guess. This is the worst. Why celebrate birthdays once a year when you can have death days almost every day? Uh, he's high on soap again. Maybe this whole ordeal is his way of apologizing? It's okay, Ben. It's my fault for provoking you. Have you tried the worm burgers? They melt in your mouth. Can't expect a coherent response when he's like this, but it's fine either way. It's not fine. It's my photo frame with a black ribbon. This everything is just wrong. Oh, it's the Robo Huxley. Bridges are rather fascinating, aren't they? Yes, they are. <laughs> no, they're not. I'm literally just like the frickin' hell. What am I wait, what am I supposed to be doing? So we're gonna score it. Okay, Huxley is not here this time, so can I go here? Hmm, Huxley doesn't seem to be around. Which means... However, I shouldn't enter without a weapon. Well, lucky there's a... Oh, there's actually several weapons. There's a sword, but I want that chainsaw though. A dirty chainsaw lies abandoned on the floor. It's probably Bennett's. Okay, I can't get that, so let's get the sword. <laughs> Just what I needed. Acquired a metal bat. Oh, that's a freaking sword. I guess not. Okay, let's save really quick, because it will tr probably try to murder me. Hmm, Huxley doesn't be around. Okay, let's go. I wonder what's in the secret pit. Oh, Jesus, what the freaking hell? Carefully, I descended down the ladder. Then, I saw something I shouldn't have. An underground laboratory illuminated by faint green lights. The silent hum of machines. It says Robo Factory. And the tanks with the clones of Felix Honecker floating inside- oh, Felix? 
Someone comes out of the shadows. I can only assume it's the doctor himself. Hey, Dr. Huxley. What is the meaning of this? Ah, looks like you discovered my personal laboratory. Don't you know that this area is off limits? Well, I get a freaking bat, dude. You want to try me? You left the door open yourself. Well, isn't that unfortunate? If you try to harm me, my soul data will get loaded into a new vessel. And I'll be the one coming here again and again until I get an answer. She's right. My, my, how persistent. How come a puppet like you knows this much? Hey, don't change the subject. Haha, ha, aren't you sharp? The story behind this is quite simple. As you may know, I'm a genius sur surgeon who's far ahead of my peers. However you see, I'm getting old. It's not news to me that my dementia is progressing with rapid speed. And unfortunately, it's not something I can cut out with a scalpel. What are you getting at? Isn't it obvious at this point? When I noticed the changes in my mental processes, I found myself in need of a replacement. So you made Felix? I proposed a project to my team and they were excited to start working on it. That's how Felix Honecker came to be. Named after a character in my favorite novel. <laughs> in a way, even his research mirrors that very book. Have you ever heard of Ice Nine? No, and I frankly don't care. Does Felix know about this? No, no. He thinks his parents are on U Uberia? Too busy genetically modifying human appendixes for mass production. The recent research has shown that it's rather nutritious, you see. It's said to serve as an even more nutritious breakfast than scrambled human fetuses. Gross. Ugh, I didn't need to hear that part. My nephew is extremely motivated, don't you think? All because he wants to be like me. Just like he was designed to become. I'm gonna tell him, <laughs> ruining everything. No, you won't. He'll have an ex existential crisis and stop functioning properly. Well, you have more. In the worst case scenario, I'll have to replace him with a more capable asset. Although, his replacement is inevitable at some point. None of the Honickers have lived for longer than two years so far. That's... sucks. But worry not. Our research has shown that females have a longer lifespan than males do. What are you getting at, huh? It's a matter of time until Felix becomes a Felicia, okay? I see, I see. You have it all arranged. Now what should I do? Oh no. Oh. I don't know. God, it's so weird because like this episode gives you like so many choices to do like a lot of different things, but you don't know how it will affect a lot of stuff. So if I crush the tanks, obviously I destroy all the Felix replacements, but he could technically just make more. I'm just kind of thinking like, is he gonna try to like take revenge and kill me or something? It, you know what? Let's be adventurous guys, we're gonna crush the tanks. I grip my metal bat harder. Am I gonna have to crush all these? God. Let's crush them all. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Get away from them. Uh, Miss Wilshire, what are you- I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> hey, it's how it is. Stop it. <laughs> this is a blast. This is terrible. Strike! I love how he's not stopping me though. Because thank fuck. Here I go. And they're all gone. Hanukkahs fall out and I crush their heads one by one. Ha ha ha. I wish I could see your face right now. You absolute fool! These took years to incubate. Do you understand they will be off or not if the current Felix Hanukkah dies? And? Looks like you have no choice but to value him, no? See you later, Dr. Huxley. <laughs> you monster. Say, say, what will you do now? Drug me? Dissect me? Torture me? Nothing will work. <laughs> I'm a little bit worried right now, so I'm gonna leave. I go back up, oblivious to the heap of corpses, corpses I left behind. I mean, she's right, you know, he's the only one left, so you kind of do have to value him now. Felix is kind of my favorite guy. Should I tell him? Hey, Honecker. What? I pinch his cheek hard. What's wrong with you, Wilshire? That hurt. No, it's nothing. Have a fun party. I love you, buddy. That's why I destroyed all your fake selves. Okay, that's safe before I go into Aiden's room. That guy's always trying to murder me. Aiden's room, I don't knock. <laughs> I don't even knock anymore. Hey, dude. Aiden is sewing together an another doll of his, of course. Aiden, Aiden. Oh, he's back to this form again. What are you up to? Taxidermy again? Don't you get tired of it? Aiden doesn't reply. His bottomless eyes fixated on the corpse the table. What? Okay, there's a typo here. Aiden, talk to me. Or I'll poke out your eyes. 
True to my words, I poke his eye. Gross. My finger disappears in Aiden's eye socket, making a gushing sound. He pays it no mind. Hey, what are you going to switch back to your butler form? You don't find where you're like this. At all. Aiden continues working. I sit on the table and watch him for some time. I can't really remember when I met Aiden. Well, actually. <laughs> Just like with the rest, it's as if the memory of him was there all along. The memory that went like, we capture and brainwash him into being our butler, yeah, pretty much. Which apparently was my idea. But I never really got along with anyone in this place, let alone have them go along with my ideas. The oldest memory I have is of locking myself in the laboratory for three days, terrified of the workers. Ever since they learned I was unable to die, they wanted to have me as their lab rat for their experiments. Aiden was the one to talk them out of it. After all, he was brainwashed into having common sense. Or whatever it was. It is called sympathy and empathy. But as the time went by, he became more and more unstable, spiraling further into insanity with every passing day. And look at him now, scavenging my former bodies to make dolls out of them. He became no different from everyone else. Miss Wilshire? You shouldn't fall asleep here. Ah. Uh, Aiden, hi hi. I encircle my arms around his neck in an impromptu hug. I'm happy you're delighted to see me, but look at the time. You'll be late to school at this rate. Who cares, I skip all the time. School smooth, who cares? Play with me? Now, now, this isn't the right time for games, my dear. Come on, let's go arrange the food in the fridge or something. You love that stuff, don't you? It'll be fun. Aiden? Yeah, he's back to this mode. Oh. Well, whatever. Bye, Aiden. This is just weird and super sad. I just really don't get what, like, I'm supposed to be achieving with this, man. Hmm, I don't feel like going to class- What? You never feel like going to class any day. Oh. Char- Hey. Miss Wilshire. Hey, you appeared out of nowhere. Miss Eiler. Do you plan on skipping class again? <laughs> no way, you liar. Do you know what happened to Miss Warhol? She isn't coming to school anymore. You do know, don't you? Well, you know, we went to her house and then saw her dead brother and now she's just, you know, doesn't want to come to school anymore. I don't know what you're talking about, Miss Eiler. Aren't you worried about your friend? Eh? But we're not friends. Huh? You know. <laughs> Army's my stalker. Jeez, Charlotte. Well, I gotta go. See you, see you, class rep. Hmm, where did Charles go? Maybe the library? To do drugs? Hmm. Hey, dude. You here to do drugs? Oh, so this is where you were hiding. Charles is breathing heavily, his eyes fixated on the floor. He did come here to do drugs! A panic attack, really? I'm sorry, give me a moment. It's fine. Here, I'll pat your head, useless C. We sit like this for a while. So how was, so how has your day been, Miss Wilshire? Been socializing? No, I had enough of that. Well, sort of. By the way, there's something I've noticed. What is it? Charles. You're afraid of Scarlet Eiler. Excuse me, what? No, no. What gave you the idea? Whenever she's here, you're never around. You're scared shitless. Say, why is that? Well, because C is, you know, just a manifestation of your other identity and you don't, you know, you're afraid of, you know, whatever, you know, you, you, you guys know what I'm talking about. Stop with the nonsense. I am not afraid of a little girl. But you are. And I will find out why. Even if it isn't fear, there must be a reason you keep avoiding her. Charles doesn't answer. Well, there's no helping it. I still have some time before the execution hour. I'm gonna do that every day, huh? I need to ask around the school about the unusual link related activity. Charles knows something, but he isn't telling. Maybe I could get him to cooperate by force later. So, are you going to stay here? I think I have a bit of a headache. A lot of things on my mind lately. So I'm going to rest in the infirmary, if you don't mind. Sure, go on ahead. I'll wander around for a bit. Really? I mean, what am I going to do? Oh, you came to buy the goods? No way. Come on, I'll give you one dose for free. I'm a big fan. Oh, uh, what an honor. Acquire your link. So has anyone bought a lot of this stuff lately? Yes. But my mouth is sealed shut. That's our privacy policy. Hmm, we'll see about that. I bring out a small syringe and inject the contents into the boy's neck. That's hilarious. Oops, looks like someone's caught the white flu. Oh, gross. Stage 1 collapse of brain activity. Just a matter of weeks until stage 2. Absolute obedience. That is messed up. 
Sorry, no more free stuff. His brain is melting. You're already here, dude. Charles seems to be sleeping. Hmm. Ooh. No, I don't want to do that. No, I'm not going to do that. Shake him awake. I lean in closer, grabbing his shoulders. The boy's eyes snap open. Oh, if it isn't Miss Wilshire. Slept well, Mr. C? Hmm. Feel like joining me? It'll restore your SPB a bit. Socialize something points? Unnecessary. I've dealt with all the socialization participants. It's a pointless system anyway. Ah, oh, is that so? What about the puzzles on this level? What the hell are you talking about, dude? Deny, destroy, annihilate it. Oh god, this story is a disaster. You guys are breaking so many walls. God damn it, Charles. I don't need to do three fetch quests and solve a map problem to open a door. Ah, oh, you may have a point. Miss Wilshire, an avid hater of puzzle games and class attendance, is always well rested, huh? Then why not simply keep me company? Or is that not enough of a reason to stay? Haha. <laughs> <laughs> Charles has no friends. Neither does Charlotte. Hmm, valid point. Very valid. Okay, you win. This is weird, because like you're basically hanging out with yourself. I definitely believe that Like this is not real. And it's you know, it's her mind creating these worlds. And she's definitely like both Charles and Charlotte. So she's hanging out with herself basically, so you know. Some time passes. So what is it that's been bothering you? Uh, well, how do I say this? I have, fi I have found out that there's an imposter pretending to be in the house. What? We talk about imposter? How is that? How is that possible? Is it in the rules that no one can enter nor leave the house? That's right. These statements stay true. I fear that this entity is no outsider, is Umbrella Man, and it is rather powerful. As I have told you before, I am an observer in this world. Yeah, so you're Umbrella Man. I am not omnipotent. I can interfere to a degree, but, th but there's only so much I can do in borrowed vessels. The entity, however, only pretends to be a bystander. It is fully capable of shape-shifting and manipulating the stories in a way it finds fitting. Are you talking about me, dude? Adding elements that weren't supposed to exist. Like what? Portals to another world? Hmm, that could be an example. I caught a glimpse of it only once, but... I wonder if it's plotting something malicious. Hey, why worry? So what if our world gets wrecked? I am fully aware that you're anticipating the destruction of the house, but please have some sympathy. My image is on the line here. Yeah, yeah, I totally feel. Image is everything. Here, have a pity kick in the gut. <laughs> well then, is it a time for you to go home? I don't want to. Why so? Too comfortable? You think too highly of yourself, Charles? Aw. Uh, the tenants hate me. What, because you're kind of a dick to them? They say they don't, but I know how it actually is. Felix afraid of me. The others act like I don't exist. Only Aiden is on my side, but he was brainwashed into it. <laughs> Joy. Hmm, I see. Aren't they supposed to be the friendly units, though? Well, I thought they were supposed to be, but they're so mean in this version. Friendly? Just what part of those nutcases is friendly? 56 of my deaths in the house were their fault and only 23 out of those cases were purely accidental. It's a lot of dying. Please don't tell me you're counting No, never mind. More importantly, don't you think you brought it upon yourself? Has it occurred to you that you're hurting others? But if I don't pick on them, they'll ignore me altogether. I see, I see. The moment you see others have fun, you resort to destructive behavior because you're jealous. Because you're not part of it. Am I right? I get up and take my bag. To be entirely honest, I feel like my social battery points just dropped to a- ju bleh, Just dropped to zero from talking to you. Come on, can't we just enjoy profound discussion? Usually it feels more like a monologue because it is. See you later, Charles. Bye bye. Bye, dude. It's been a weird talk. Oh my, look at the hour. I have to get ready for showtime. <laughs> Freaking execution time. Please stand by. I 
ever feel like there's too many people around you? Oh yes, all the time. Don't have alone time? Feeling sick? Other Solutions has a solution just for you, you, you. With Vacuum Cleaner Pro, we can clear large areas free of sentient organic life forms. Even better, VC Pro doesn't work at animals other than Homo sapiens. Vacuum Cleaner Pro, we know what's important. It's like the weirdest ads ever. It's like propaganda ads. Welcome to the... Boom! Execution hour! Yay! This program is supported by white society. Alright, who's getting killed this- oh jeez, is this Omri? Is that why she hasn't been coming to school? Charlotte, what the freaking hell? Hi everyone, today's episode is a special. Meet our special guest, Henrietta Warhol. She can't speak right now, but if she could, I'm pretty sure she'd be greeting you. Mm. Did you know, Miss Warhol here is a very bad person. Nobody likes her, ever. Wait, let me read some of our audience's letters aloud. I knew I was right to hate Armory from the start. Anonymous. It's hard to sympathize with her tragic backstory when... Wilshire Lover 34 age 16, what the freaking hell. Wow, she can go. Anonymous. Sorry, Armory. I have no other choice. Armory sobs and sniffles, crying for help. This is some messed up crap, yo. Hush, hush, it's going to be okay. Well then, what are we going to do to her? It was you who all voted for her persecution after all. I didn't vote for this shit. Everyone start voting now. Oh, what the freaking hell? Show backstory. Brainwash into a better character. Write a fanfic where she dies. Kill gruesomely. Let's show us the backstory. Three, two, one. Well, well, let's see. Oh, looks like everyone wants you to probably kill her. Oh. Hey, hey, hey. This area is off limits. Oh, freaking Eiler. Jesus Christ. Ugh. Miss Warhol, get out of here. Damn, Eiler really loves Henry. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> How many deaths is this? The 56th one? My deepest apologies. We're stopping the broadcast. <laughs> this shit show ends now. Well, thanks, I guess. Okay, six, four, six days until the trial. The days are increasing, so we're going back in time or something? I'm pretty sure it's increasing. I think. I don't know, I haven't been counting. Uh, okay, it's, we're back here for some reason. Well, I guess, guys, this is a good place to leave as any other point in time because we started here and now we end here, so... I definitely think this is very much the real world because all the times that we've been in these other places, they always made like refer references back to like, you know, this. Because it talks about her dad and he's like never coming home like probably ever and then mom is like uh like mom is just like there but not there so i think like her mom is sick probably i'm kind of like you know kind of stuck between like if her mom is like depressed or sick but i think her mom is sick and i i'm kind of afraid because like i don't like how they don't show her face because I, I don't know what that that could mean something so uh, i'm a bit worried at that point and why I say depressed is because like, I think like maybe Scarlet Eiler is her younger sister that was never born. So she just had like a miscarriage, which is why she's in bed. Because she's depressed. And then her dad just freaking left because, you know, he just, I guess he can't deal with it. And for some reason, Scarlet Eiler is like her, basically her conscious. Because, like, she keeps doing terrible things. At least this version of Charlotte. And then Scarlet is always there telling her that you, you're not, you shouldn't be doing this crap. This is bad. And I think Amri is a real person, but... Okay, I don't know about her brother, because her brother, that was messed up. But C, though. I don't know if C is a real person. Because right here, this is Charles. But I think Charles is just Charlotte. So when they hang out, it's like she's having a monologue with herself. Because I don't think we've really ever seen anyone else interact with Charles, I don't think. I could be wrong. You know, a lot of weird stuff has been happening, so I'm still trying to process everything. But that's my theory for now. Don't know if it's right or wrong. But we're just going to keep going and see where this crazy-ass adventure takes us. I kind of hope that this is the real world, because it would make, make a lot more sense. Because 
you know, basically like her mental illness or something is like manifesting into like this fantasy world slash fan fiction that she's writing. But I don't know. I could theorize, theorize all day long. I just don't know what the heck it is. So I will just leave this here for now. So thank you guys so much for watching this. Let me know what you think and I will see you guys in the next video.